Hello there guys and welcome to this Explain 11 video. We are in the British capital London and specifically at London Heathrow Airport and today we're going to be doing a full flight to Dublin in Ireland. Our approximate flight time today is 40 minutes and we're going to be cruising at about 20,000 feet. I'm also happy to announce giveaway 1 of 10 which I'm going to be featuring here on the channel. More information on the giveaway itself and how to participate will be provided to you during the course of the video. Today we're going to be flying the RXCG 737 in the British Airways livery and so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head to the ground uh, services here and we're going to set our fuel to 6,600 kilos of fuel. And we're going to use instant and we're going to leave everything else the same. Let's go ahead and head over to the overhead panel. We're going to start our batteries. We're going to go ahead and arm the emergency lights and we're going to start the APU. All right, we're just going to wait for the APU now to become available. The APU is now available, so let's go ahead and turn on the APU gens. And we're going to head over here and set the IRS to nav mode. And we're going to put this here. We have about seven minutes before full alignment. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn the oil damper on, galley power on and let's see here fasten seatbelt signs to auto and we're going to turn on the window heat and research fans to auto left pack on auto isolation valve is open and we're going to turn off the engine bleeds and turn on the apu bleed all right let's take a look here um, our final cruising altitude today is 20,000 feet Right, that is set, and we are now ready to program the FMC. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, FMC position initialization. We are currently at Echo Golf Lima Lima, which is London Heathrow. And we're going to grab our current GPS position and insert it here. Let's go to root. The origin is Echo Golf Lima Lima, and the destination is Echo India Delta Whiskey, which is Dublin Airport. We are today British Airways Fly 3652. And today we're going to be departing uh, London Heathrow at uh, runway 27 right through the Cat 3 Foxtrot departure. And let's go to route, and then we're going to take Lima Niner to Stu. And then we're going to take Mike 17 to Vatry. And then it's going to be our star into. Dublin Airport, so we're going to go to departure here, arrivals, and we're going to be arriving through the, uh, let's see here, the Vatter 1 X-ray, star um, ILS runway 28, route, um, activate and execute, let's go to the likes page, make sure everything's okay, uh, looks like we have a disco here, execute that. And now we can uh, go to performance. All right, so let's grab our zero fuel, which is 44.13, 44.13. And we're going to stick that here at reserves one. Um, cruise um, cost index is something we can grab is 27. Uh, cruise altitude is 20,000 feet. And we're going to um, get the cruise wind, which is 2904, 41, so 41 knots at 2904, 2904 degrees, 41. That's the average uh, wind, and that's um, very useful information for the aircraft to calculate the top of descent. So let's insert that here. Um, transition altitude in the United Kingdom, specifically in the London area, is 6,000 feet. 
N1 limit, and we're going to derate, take off data, flaps 5, uh, that's fine. Uh, center of gravity is 5.8. That gives us a trim today of 5.1. That's about right. And let's see here. Uh, V1 is 129. V rotate, 131. And V2 is 140. We're going to stick 140 in the um, flare shield here. 140. 140. And everything else is good. So execute. And we're going to go to the legs page. We're going to set the climb page here on this side. Okay, so while the IRS is uh, aligned, we're going to go ahead and grab the altimeter. And we're going to use the local X-plane map to do that. Details, and let's see here, 29092. So the barrel reference is standard at this point. And we're going to go ahead and turn on the fly directors. All right, and we'll make sure everything is okay before we call the pushback truck. Let's take a look here. Six minutes before full alignment. So we're just going to wait for the IRS to complete its job. And then we're going to call the pushback truck. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and turn on the fuel pumps. And we're going to turn on the anti-collision light. And we'll leave the packs uh, on for now. We now have full iris alignment, so we can go ahead and call the pushback truck and start our engines. I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, built-in um, pushback truck, and we're going to use a straight pushback. Parking brake is released. All right, let's go ahead and start our engines. We're going to start with the engine number two. And we're going to observe 24% uh, of N2 before we uh, give it some fuel. We need to turn off the left pack here. 23, 24. Okay, so we'll give it some fuel. All right, we're going to go ahead now and start the engine number one. And again, we're going to observe 24% uh, of N2 uh, before we put some fuel. In the meantime, we can change this to map. There we go. All right, 24, and we'll give it some fuel. Let's set our, head our, um, set our heading to runway heading. All right, pushback is complete. Let's go ahead and set the parking brake. And what we can do now is we can uh, put the generators on. And we're going to go ahead and turn on the pitos. Hydraulics. And we're going to put the pack on auto. Isolation valve on auto. We're going to turn on the engine bleeds and turn off the APU bleed. Um, everything here looks good to me. Um, engine start selectors to continuous. We're going to turn on the runway turn off lights and taxi lights. And everything else is looking good. We're going to set flaps 5 for departure. Flaps 5 and auto brake to reject the takeoff. And we're now looking good. Let's go ahead and release the parking brake. And we're going to taxi to runway 27 right for departure. This scenery, uh, by the way, of uh, London Heathrow is that of Aerosoft. It's available on uh, on the Aerosoft uh, as well as the X-Plane Org stores. Uh, really one of the best uh, 
uh, London Heathrow um, scenery for X-Plane 11. Alright, we're heading here. We're going to go ahead and make a final stop here before we enter the runway. And we're going to set things up for departure. Uh, runway turn off, lights are off, taxi lights are off, landing lights are on, logo and strobes can go on, and we can turn off the APU. Everything else is looking good. Flaps 5, we're going to go ahead and activate the auto throttle, or arm the auto throttle. And everything looking good now. Uh, flaps 5, um, auto brake on rejected takeoff. Flight controls are okay, and everything checks good. Let's go ahead and release the parking brake and head over to the runway. Alright, we're lining up now, runway 27 right. Everything's looking good for and takeoff. Two, seven, right. We have our clearance, so we're cleared for takeoff, runway 27 right. Let's go with some power. And Toga. Rotation speed is one three one knots. Rate of climb, gear is going up, and we're going to maintain about 10 degree pitch here as we climb. Beautiful day here at uh, London Heathrow. All right, we're going to begin retracting the flaps, flaps one. feet and we're going to now maintain 250 knots. We have now reached uh, our first restriction as you can see here um, we need to be above 3,000 at this waypoint and above 4,000 at uh, Whiskey Oscar Delta and then we need to maintain 6,000 feet through those two waypoints and then we can begin our climb again at um, Charlie Papa Tango. After we pass Charlie Papa Tango, that is, uh, we can begin uh, our climb to our cruise altitude, which is in this case 20,000 feet. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy the flight and before I go away, our giveaway is going to be comprised of three prizes. The first is a copy of X-Plane 11. The second prize and the third prize will be a um, gift certificate at the X-Plane Org store in the amount of $50. To enter the giveaway, simply click on the giveaway link provided to you in the description section of the video. Good luck to you all folks. As you can see, the aircraft has begun the climb to our cruise altitude, which is uh, 20,000 feet. This is our top of climb uh, right here. Uh, so this is actually a very short flight and everything is looking good. We're going to momentarily turn off the landing lights and actually it's starting to get dark in here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights 
this in here. Let's see here. And we'll do the same thing here and here. And we're going to go ahead and turn all the um, cockpit lights on. Alright, so we're going to level off until we reach the um, FMC speed. And then we're going to continue our climb to 20,000. All is looking good at the moment. And just by the way, on uh, reference to the giveaway, the giveaway is going to start today. Uh, so with the launch of the video. And it's going to be active, so you can enter the giveaway up until Friday um, of next week. And the giveaway will end um, on that Saturday morning. Uh, so probably 12 a.m. Uh, on Saturday. And another giveaway will start when I publish my next video uh, next Saturday. As you can see now, we're climbing steadily to 20,000 feet and everything is looking good. A few scattered cloud in the vicinity, uh, but overall very nice weather here in London. Alright folks, I'm going to let you guys uh, enjoy the flight now. Uh, we have about 6,000, about 5,000 feet before our cruising altitude, so I will see you guys as soon as we level off. Welcome back folks, uh, we are now cruising at 20,000 feet, which is our final cruising altitude for our flight. The weather conditions are perfectly okay in our current location, a few scattered clouds in the vicinity. The weather forecast in Dublin though does not look very promising. There is some heavy precipitation and some stormy winds there. Uh, we'll worry about it uh, when we get there. Uh, one thing I wanted to share with you guys is a um, probably my thoughts on uh, on the, a review that I've done on FS Flying School 2018. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, I normally purchase all the add-ons that I review, um, and if it is not something that I've paid for, I normally have a disclaimer to say that um, I'm doing this review, but it was you know, a copy was provided by the developer, and. Uh, on the FS Wine School video, there was a comment made, and then I saw that comment again on the FS Flying School forum to the effect that the review was more like an advertisement uh, disguised as a review. Now, first of all, I have no affiliation with FS Flying School or the x Board or Laminhar Research for that matter. Uh, I'm an independent YouTuber. I do this for fun. I don't do this for money. Uh, I'm in no way sponsored by anyone uh, or any entity and um, when I did that particular review I probably was a bit excited because I thought that that add-on was really a good add-on. Uh, now it may not be perfect uh, but for what it does and for the entertainment that it provides and uh, based on my experience uh, would be something that flight simulators would really enjoy especially those who are and just beginning, uh, you know, the hobby, uh, or, or just you know, new, newcomers to the to the flight simulation hobby. So, um, for those of you who are new to the channel, um, I try my very best to be unbiased. Even if I like uh, a particular add-on, uh, I try to keep the emotions out of it, so that you guys can benefit and you can really make a decision on whether. You know this add-on is going to be fun and it's going to be serving your needs or not so there's really nothing in that review that i've done that is disguised um it's it's a video you can watch the video you can see all the features that i present in the video and then you can make your you know your own decision whether it's it's going to work for you or not um so there, i'm not trying to hide anything um normally if uh if there are errors, then I show those errors. If the application doesn't work, if it breaks, then I'll show you, I'll tell you that it breaks. So there's really no point in me um, hiding anything as an advertisement. And I do spend a lot of money uh, on this hobby. Uh, I do get very little in return uh, for what I do. 
um, considering the time, the effort, and, and, and the money that I spent, um, my only reward is the number of subscribers that I have, the friends that I made, and all the encouraging comments that I get, and it's definitely a hobby that I enjoy, and so why not enjoy it with all of you fine folks out there? That's really my reward, is really enjoying it with you guys, uh, the interaction that I get from all of you. Uh, I know I've been uh, not very good in um, replying to a lot of the emails and the questions that I've been getting, but um, really, for, forgive me folks, it's, it's just really getting out of hand. I, I get a lot of questions, a lot of comments. Uh, I do try my very best until this day to respond to all the comments on the channel. Uh, but forgive me if I don't answer your emails, uh, or some of them, I, I do try my best to answer some of them, especially if they're completely new, um, and that, you know, I'm able to answer them. So, we are now at uh, 20,000 feet, let's go ahead and check our flight plan real quick. We are 93 nautical miles from the top of descent point, and what I'm going to do at this point is we're going to go ahead and set up for our approach. Uh, let's take a look here. We're going to do flaps 30, approach speed, VREF is 134. We're going to add 5 knots for wind correction. That will give us uh, 139 approach speed. So flaps 30, 139 for VREF. We're going to stick that here. The ILS frequency uh, for runway 28 at Dublin is 111.35. So we're going to set that here, 111. 0.35 and we're going to set the same here 11.35 and the course to our the course to the runway is 278 degrees 278 and 278 on this side all right so we're all good now and what we're going to do um, at the top of descent point, uh, which is in about 87 nautical miles. All right, so what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the flight, uh, relax, kick back, maybe have a cup of coffee and a couple of cookies, and I'll check back with you about 30 nautical miles from our top of descent point. Enjoy the flight. Welcome back folks, uh, we are now approximately 29 nautical miles from the top of descent point. As you can see there are some clouds in uh, the area, uh, but this is something we've expected according to the weather forecast. So we're going to expect a rough uh, approach into Dublin. Uh, what we're going to do at this point, we're going to go ahead and reset the MCP altitude to 2500 feet which is our platform altitude into Dublin today, runway 28. So let's go ahead and do that. 2500. There we go, 2500. All right, so the aircraft should begin the automatic descent uh, at the top of descent point now, and it should descend to 2500 feet. Uh, we're going to monitor the weather very closely here as we approach Dublin, uh, but for now everything appears to be okay. Alright, and as you can see now, the aircraft has begun the automatic descent, and we're going to have to watch the, uh, the rate of descent here. Alright, it's, uh, it's reasonable, I think, up to this point, 2,000. Alright, so everything's looking good. We've begun the descent now, and uh, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to bring in the local map and see if we can find Dublin, which we can. It's right here. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and, uh, let's see here, sky conditions, broken visibility, rain, uh, wind is 340 and fine. It's not as bad as we thought. Uh, altimeter is 2902, 
Um, so that's fine. Um, so the barrel reference is standard and it's going to stay standard. Uh, FMC message drag required. Okay. Now we're going to extend the speed brakes now. We continue our descent to, uh, to 2,500 feet. Uh, I think we need to... Um, speed brake was, uh, was deployed, so uh, we need to disarm the speed brake now. And we continue our descent. We're looking okay for our... Uh, we're still looking good. Uh, let me go ahead and increase the range here so we can see what's going on. There we go. Um, I've turned on the engine and wing anti-ice uh, just in case as we come through these uh, really thick clouds now. Alright, we are approaching uh, 10,000 feet now and everything is looking good. Uh, our speed is 230 knots. Uh, what I'm going to do at this point is uh, I'm going to go ahead and set the vertical speed here. I'm going to set our speed to 230 knots. And we'll keep it there. Uh, looks like there is some rain now. We can, we can see that. Now we're going to continue our descent. All right, so 10,000 feet. We're going to go ahead and turn on our landing lights. And we're going to put the engine start selectors on continuous. We are now at about um, 8,000 feet, and uh, we're actually pretty close to uh, we're pretty close now to uh, to Dublin. Uh, six, I think we're okay. I think we can adjust our rate of descent now to about a thousand per minute, thousand feet per minute, and uh, moderate precipitation here, and a few scattered clouds in the vicinity. Hopefully it uh, should be okay for our approach and landing into Dublin. Alright folks, uh, we are now pretty close to our destination. It looks like there is some heavy precipitation as you can see here. And uh, the airport is now to our left. Uh, so what I'm going to do at this point, um, let's see here first, let's take a look at our uh, localizer appears to be active. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase our rate of descent to about a thousand feet per minute. And our speed is still fine. Um, we're going to start actually reducing our speed to about 180 knots. All right, 180 knots. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a, we're going to have a very rough approach into into Dublin as as expected earlier. Um, it's just very very heavy rain. Um, let's see here, uh, four eight six. Yep. So we're doing fine at the moment. Uh, we're reducing our speed to 280 uh, 180 knots. Beg your pardon. I'm going to go ahead and engage the approach button here and uh, momentarily we're going to begin extending our flaps. We need to slow down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the speed brakes. Alright and at this point I'm going to go to flaps 1. speed 139 knots okay 139 knots uh, we're getting down to about uh, 180 knots now so what I'm gonna do is uh, this arm let's actually go ahead and arm the speed brake and we're gonna put the auto brake on three Twenty five hundred feet is our platform altitude, so we should level off at twenty five hundred and we're gonna maintain hundred and eighty knots now. Twenty five hundred.
we go. That's our turn to Dublin. There we go. That's the runway ahead of us. All right, we're looking pretty good for the approach now. And uh, let's see. 2,500 feet, uh, we are at 180 knots, and we're going to maintain 180 knots now until the um, glide slope pointer is at about this point here. And then we're going to start reducing our speed and extend flaps 15. At the moment, all is looking good. The scenery, uh, by the way, for Dublin Airport is also um, that of Aerosoft. As you can see now, the needle started moving. All right, and at this point, we're going to go ahead and select gear down. And we're going to go to flaps 15. And we're going to reduce our speed to 150 knots. All right, here we go. And it looks like the weather has just gotten really bad. Um, all right, so we're looking good. Still looking good. And now we're going to reduce our speed to our approach speed of 139 knots. There we go. And then flap 30. Let's go ahead and set our throttle here. Um, there we go. Throttle is set. And we're look, still looking good. Very nice scenery by Aerosoft of uh, Dublin. Approaching. All right. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and take over. That's my plane now. And we're going to disconnect the auto throttle as well. 139 knots. Ooh, very strong wind here as we come into land. There we go. 400. 400 feet. 300. Touchdown. Not the best of landings, uh, but considering the circumstances, I think we've done very well. Reversers are out. All right, and 17 knots, manual braking. And welcome to Dublin, ladies and gentlemen. turn here and we're going to bring the aircraft to a complete stop and take a look at our landing
Well, our landing wasn't uh, too bad, uh, considering the, uh, the circumstances and this really terrible weather. Uh, let's go ahead now and turn off. We're going to turn on the taxi light. When we turn off lights are off, uh, landing lights can go off. And engine start selectors to... Ooh, where are we going? There we go. Right, and let's see here. Uh, logo can remain, uh, strokes can go off. Everything else here is fine. And we're going to go ahead and auto brake to the off position. I need to watch my taxi here. And we can retract the flaps. Well, this brings us to the conclusion of our video today. I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to click on the giveaway link in the video description to enter the giveaway. Again, the prizes uh, will be a copy of X-Plane 11 and two gift certificates uh, for the X-Plane Org store uh, at $50 each. So until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.